Hey YouTube, this is BRTidwell55 here, and I uh, thought I'd show you some tricks you can do with uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition, particularly if uh, you've gone from Windows 7 to Windows 8 and you're kind of perplexed as to why you don't have a start button or a start orb anymore. What did Microsoft do with that? Thanks, Microsoft. That's the way you taught us how to use computers for 25 years, and now you just yank it out away from us. Way to go. Anyway, I can show you how to get some of that functionality back if you're using Linux Mint Cinnamon. So, here we go. The first thing uh, that you can do with Cinnamon Edition is you'll notice uh, the, the panel down here at the bottom end. In Linux Mint, they call this the panel, not not a start bar or not a or super bar, but that's what they call it when they said it. Anyway, the first thing that you can do with that is you can change the size. So uh, you right click on it and go to settings, click on settings to open up settings, and click on panel, and uh, the dialog will come up and you're using a bottom panel and what you can do is you can change the panel size so you go ahead and, and uh, click that and also go ahead and click allow some to scale uh, panel text and icons so it looks right and on this bottom panel height just go ahead and click that sucker that up to between 32 and uh, 35 pixels that'll give you a size that uh, you're more used to looking at and uh, with, with that done, now we're going to move some things around so it works more like uh, the Super Bar in Windows 7. You right click on that again, and uh, this little uh, slider here that says Panel Edit Mode, go ahead and click that on, and that's going to let you move these icons around on the panel. So this icon right here is a is a show desktop icon now if you want to stay true to how it works in windows 7 you know that's all the way at the far right of, of the panel past the clock and past the uh, uh, past the system tray or what i call the system tray it used to be the system notification area you can go ahead and slide that all the way to the end and drop it and now you can go all the way to the end of, of your panel and click that and open up all your windows. We'll go ahead and click panel mode, uh, panel edit mode off and then we'll go back up to uh, to settings one more time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, well before we do that, uh, let's go ahead we're going to duplicate these uh, uh, these functions here in a second, so don't worry about. It. But we're going to get rid of these little quick launchers. You're not going to need them after you're you're done with this. We're going to leave that menu right there where it is. Actually, we can configure we can configure that menu icon as well. If you don't want any text, you just want an icon there. You can either rename it, you can call it Start, you can call it Fred, you can just get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. Now, the next thing we can do is now we're going to remove, uh, we're going to replace one of the applets that's on here. The, uh, uh, the applet that actually lets you see and switch between windows is amazingly called Window Switcher. We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to replace it with uh, with a window switcher with uh, with preview. And what that's going to do is that's going to let you see, actually see. Uh, that's actually going to let you see. Give you a preview when you hover over the icon, like like you can in Windows 7. A little tongue tied today. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Where's that at? Window list. Yeah, we don't need that. So, we'll go ahead and we'll remove that from the panel. But don't worry. We'll get that, fun we'll get, we're going to replace it with something better. 
So go ahead and click over here on Get More Online. Now I've already I've I've pre uh, seeded this. You might say uh, when you do this on a new machine, it might take it a couple of minutes to actually download all of the applets that are uh, available out there. But this is the one we want: Window List with App Grouping. So we're going to go ahead and click that, and we're going to install or update selected. It's going to ask for your password, like anything. And little check mark tells you that it's installed, so then we go back over to our installed window, uh, our installed applets, and right click on it, and add the panel. Okay, you, and there you see it's appeared down there on your panel. And now we're going to move it. We're going to uh, we're going to go back into panel edit mode, and we're going to move that uh, that particular applet back over beside uh, the the menu icon or the menu launcher applet. So we'll go ahead and turn turn on our panel edit mode again, and then we'll just hover over that. We're going to drag it all the way down here, and we'll go ahead and move our uh, menu applet back to where it got, uh, uh, back to where on the far left where we're used to it being. And we'll turn off our panel edit mode. And now we have a. Now we have a panel that emulates a Windows Super Bar. Go ahead and click on Settings. And you can see I minimize that terminal and you still have, and it will still give you a preview of what's going on in that window even though it's minimized. Uh, let's say you want to, and if you want to add if you want to add items to uh, the window grouping with preview applet, all you have to do is, uh, let's say you want your media player in there, I'll just go ahead and go to your uh, uh, go to your menu and open that application up, and then once it comes up, say you want your media player in there, all you have to do is now now you see it open, all you have to do is hover over it and pin the favorites and close it and now it's there. So now Cinnamon is pretty configurable. Uh, it's sort of a it it Cinnamon is a new-ish project. It, it's a fork of one of the of an earlier version of GNOME. It comes with its own window compositor. So unfortunately, if you're if you're familiar with Linux, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it comes with its own win, uh, compositing engine. So uh, unfortunately, uh, things like uh, Compiz and Emerald themes do not work in uh, on Cinnamon, but it's still pretty configurable, and uh, there are a lot of themes out there that uh, that will allow you to change the look and feel of it. Uh, you know, you can download icon packs, you can download cinnamon themes, and uh, and basically allow you to personalize, uh, you know, personalize your desktop the way you really want it. I mean, you can. Uh, you can take this even further. I mean, th there are themes and icon packs that that you can install on this, and someone walking up to your computer or looking at it over your shoulder, they think you were using Windows 7. Uh, that's how. Uh, if that if that's what you want to do, I'm just showing you this because I think this is the way people are used to using computers, and uh, and if you're setting up a computer for someone who's new to Linux, I think this might be. This would ease their transition a bit and give them a, a working environment they're somewhat more familiar with. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's all I have. This is Br Tidwell 55, and thanks for watching.